everyone. Welcome to another episode of Benji James Talks. In today's video, we are going to be reviewing Adam Lambert's brand new album, High Drama. Uh, to start off with, this is kind of how I would rate the album. I have different tiers for the album. Uh, this is what it came up with. Number one is Masterpiece, so that means I love every track on, on the album. It's perfect, it's incredible, it's flawless. Fire, not as good as Masterpiece, but still, like, majority of the album, I love. Um, it's close to perfection, I love it. Um, then the next tier down, we've got Bop, so it's good, fun, enjoyable, above average. Uh, ordinary, average, it's all right, I like it. Um, meh. Underwhelmed, disappointing, not good, but not awful. Uh, yuck, I don't like it. It's bad. And the last one is revolting. I freaking hate it. I hope I never, ever, ever have to raid an album in that. But who knows? There could come a day um, that that would happen. I feel like Masterpiece is going to be pretty unattainable. Um but you never, never know. I'm sure there'll eventually be an album that will go there, but it's going to be pretty, I'm going to make it pretty hard to get that. It's going to be pretty hard to get into that slot. So I feel like things will most, mostly probably end up falling into Bop, ordinary majority of stuff. Um, if it's really good, I think it's going to end up in like fire. So yeah. Um, now the way... I'll rate the album will be through three three ways I'll I'll categorize a song. So the song will either go into standout, so each song will either be standout, um honorable mention. So honorable mention means I don't love it, but I like it. Um and then there'll be like weaker song, which means I don't like the song and it's a weak song. So yeah. Uh now that we've covered that, <laughs> um, I uh, shot this video already. You'll you'll notice that uh, it's night <laughs> in the window when I'm recording the intro, and I recorded the actual review during the day. So you'll see like it's it's day outside once the review starts. Um, I kind of actually did this video a lot different to my Shania Twain review. So if you watched that, the way I kind of reviewed it was I did everything off screen. I listened to the uh, album three times off screen and then took notes of um, each song. And then in this one, I kind of did it similar in a way, but uh, it's different as well. So I listened to it twice off screen and then in this video you're actually going to see uh, me listening to it but I'm listening to it for the third time not the first time so I want to be um, clear about that it's not the first time I'm hearing these songs it's the third so um, now before we go too much further for those that are here thinking I'm going to do this elaborate breakdown of the songs and think I'm going to know all these Musical terms, that's not the video. This is not the video for you. Um, the way I kind of am going to be reviewing it is how much I love the song or like it or don't like it, um, which could be for who knows what reasons. I'm sure I'll give you reasons as to why in the um, review. So, yeah. If, if you're here, like I say, for, for a full music breakdown, this is not the channel for you. It's a pretty casual review. Um, oh, and before I forget as well, um, just so you know, if you watch my reactions, I react to like the whole thing. But in this review, I don't really want to get copyright claimed. So I'm hoping that I've done a lot of jump cuts through when you see me kind of listening to the song so you'll kind of only get glimpses of my listening to it for the third time so um this may be something i stick with 
in my reviews or it may be something that I don't do anymore depending on how I go when I upload this. So I just thought I should let you know just so you're not confused like, oh, how come he's only put like moments? Uh, yeah, only put moments in here. Well, this is why because um, the reactions, I don't mind if they get demonetized and stuff or like um, claimed where I don't really get demonetized. I get copyright claimed and then all the uh, money the video makes goes to the recording company basically or the artist or whatever. Them I'm not too too worried about, but um, I put a lot more effort into this so I don't really want it to get copyright claimed. So yeah, we'll, uh, um, we'll see. I may go back to the way I did my Shania Twain uh, review. We'll see. So yeah, other than that, if you're staying on, I hope you guys enjoy the review. I had a lot of fun making it today. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Dream of what I need. I need a hero. Larger than life. Need a hero. Larger than life. I'm the boy. I'm the blood. Larger than life. Ooh, all right. So, uh, number one on the album. Number one on the album. <laughs> The first song on the album is Holding Out for a Hero. Now, I have reacted to the music video for this on my channel. This is not a reaction. It is an album review. I'm trying something different to my Shania Twain kind of um, album review. Basically, on my Shania Twain album review was like my first ever album review that I did. So, I kind of just took notes. Um, I listened to the album like three times. Um, to see if it grows or or if I like it less. So, um, and it actually ended up growing on me over the three times. So I've done the same with Adam Lambert. It's actually my third time listening to the album. I've already listened to it twice, but this isn't a uh, reaction. It is a review, so I don't feel like I'm ripping anybody off because I'm not reacting. So and <laughs> anyway, I absolutely love this song. Um, Man, this is absolutely one of the standouts of the album for me. I absolutely adore this song. I love the way he's glammed it up with his glam rock uh, style, which he's absolutely known for. His vocals are hectic on this. And yeah, I, and I love how different it is compared to the original as well. So yeah, um, it's definitely on my standout list. Now, um, yeah, so let's keep keep going. I push it down, push it down. You want to three drink, throw them back to lions camp. I'm gonna swing. Now, um, on the album so far, this is actually not my favorite song, but I wanted to kind of talk kind of a bit through this song you guys are gonna get like um jump cuts for these songs because i don't want to ha have copyright for for my um a lot of my other reactions get demonetized but these i'm gonna kind of try and keep it really short so it doesn't get uh demonetized music wise i wasn't even going to use music in um my album reviews but i wanted to give this a go like just see how this style of album review and see if people like it or not so yeah um otherwise i may go back to the way i did my shania twain one but yeah i absolutely love the chorus of adam's version it's not a lot different from the original but yeah I just when it kicks into that chorus this is not my favorite of songs so um like even the original i know it's a lot of people love 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 this song but for me i don't know it's just not really for me but um it's not like a skippable one either. I wouldn't go skipping it, but it's not like a go-to song for me. Both the original and uh, Adam's version um, from the two times I've listened to it. So I, I probably put this on. I've got like um, three tiers, which I would have explained earlier in the video. So we'll keep going. I'm pretty sure this is going to be like more of an honourable mentions. For me, this song, more than a um, standout 
here. So, but yeah, I don't know. It could just be my bias of this song. But we'll keep listening right through the song. You guys aren't going to see me react right through the song. I'll kind of just put the best bits of my reaction in. So, yeah. From the chandelier. Gotta get out now, gotta run from this Here comes the shame, comes the shame Okay, so earlier in the song, I said I think this would go on my honourable mentions. Now, I don't know if it's a headphones, but um, the first time I kind of listened to it, I just listened to it through the TV. Oh, no, it's given me, a, I don't know, I really, really like this song a lot more than I thought. <laughs> so, <laughs> in saying that, even though I'm biased against the song for that reason, I don't like it. I really actually like this version and it's got to go on my standout list. I don't know what it is, just like that chorus. His vocal is so strong in this song. I don't know. It has to go on the set. I can't, I can't not put it on there. Like, I, I have all these reasons to, to put it on, like the honourable mentions, but it's really freaking good. <laughs> and maybe that's just testament to how good of a singer Adam Lambert is. I don't really think it's that much different from um, the original, but maybe it's just his vocal on this song that just really gives it that oomph to me. I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? Is there a reason why I really like it? I'm not, like, super talented, like, musically. I don't, I, I don't know. But for some reason, I really, really like this version, especially through the headphones. So, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but it's on the standout list. Okay. Moving forward, third track on the album is Ordinary World. Now, um, I can pretty much give you guys what this is going to be already. I'm going to obviously do my jump cut for this song as well. But I, I've i loved this song from the first time I heard it. I didn't react to this song. I'd heard it before I reacted to Holding Out for a Hero. I wish I had have reacted to it because I really love this song. It's probably actually one of my favorites from the album. I really love Adam Lambert in those ballad style songs, which is um, what we get with this one. So anyway, without further ado, I'll kind of show you my best bits from um, my reaction. Thought I heard you talking softly. Okay, so I think I've changed my mind again. <laughs> like with Chandelier, I wouldn't have put it on my standout list, but then I've changed my mind at the end of the song, and I've actually changed my mind on this song too. Actually, probably wouldn't put it on my standout list. There are parts of it, especially the chorus, I really, really love, but the verses are actually... Um, Maybe I didn't like as much as I thought. Or maybe I really liked it the first time I heard it and thought it was really pretty. But I don't know. Like, at this of this moment, right now, I don't think oh, I would put it on my standout list. And I don't know if that's because I'm lifting my standards or I don't feel like I'm lifting my standards. I'm just – that's what I got from um, just listening to it then. I, I was like, yeah – I wouldn't actually, maybe I didn't love it as much as I thought. So yeah, still a really pretty song. Uh, amazing vocal. But yeah, I don't know. It just 
I don't feel right putting it on my standout list, guys. So it's going into honourable mentions. I, I do have another tier, Weaker Songs, but it's not weak because I still really like it. I just didn't love it as much as I thought. Anyway, moving on. We are now getting into number four on the album, Getting Older. Another song I reacted to, so I've done Holding Out for a Hero and I reacted to Getting Older. I I reacted to both Adam Lambert's version and, and then I had no idea who sung the song. So I Googled it and found out it was Billie Eilish and I ended up reacting to her singing it in the same um, video. So if you want to go see my original reaction to Getting Older, it's on my channel. So yeah, um, that's basically the only two songs I've reacted to from the album. This is another song I really love. I don't think I'm going to change my mind through this one because every time I listen to it, I love it. And I really like Billy's version as well. It's a lot more tame to Adams. Adams has got that big vocal range to play with. So, yeah, just let's get into it. I'm getting older. I think I'm aging well. And I'm thankful, there's a lot I'm grateful for Which is ironic, cause the strangers seem to want me more than anyone before Realize that I crave pity When I retell a story, I make everything sound worse Why each sentence sounds rehearsed As I was still be Just, uh, <laughs> I have to stop, like, through the song right now because I absolutely love when he goes into that falsetto. Oh, all right. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. I had to stop there. <laughs> well, you guys are going to get jump, jump cuts, like I said earlier in the video. But I'm happier than ever. At least that's my endeavor. Things I once enjoyed. As it stands right now, because as I mentioned before, I have listened to all these other songs already. As it stands right now, Getting Older has to be my favourite song from the album. No doubt, even listening to it, then it feels like when I listened to it the first time, obviously I know it better now than I did when I first heard it. But oh, I love this song more and more and more. Every time. It's actually the same with um, Shania Twain's last album. So I, uh, if you haven't watched it, I scored her album in Bop. So, um, which is my third kind of tear down. And I'd actually probably, as of now, move it into the higher tier of Fire. Because it's like, just keeps growing and getting better the more I listen to it. I like it even more and more and more. It's the same with this freaking song. He was like an absolute genius to cover it. Uh, I think I actually do like this version better than Billy's, even though she originally wrote the song. But yeah, I don't know. There's just, oh, I love this song. I, I really like that real poppy sound as well. And I don't know. It just, it works on every goddamn level for me. <laughs> so anyway, let's keep uh, going because there's some, other banger tracks on this album but right now we'll see if i change my mind as we keep going through the songs because like hearing them through the headphones is giving me a different feel like um 
to when I was listening to it on the TV. So I don't know. I don't know. Just something about the headphones. It's like, I don't know. Just hearing it in a whole new way. The next song on the album, the fifth song, is I Can't Stand the Rain. Oh, by the way, I should mention uh, Getting Older is obviously on my standout list. So <laughs> we've got quite a few on the standout list. One on the honourable mentions. So yeah, so far he's, he's probably going to have a pretty high bloody uh, rated album for me because if... Um, I love a lot of the rest of these songs. So we'll see. I may change my mind like I did with Ordinary World because I thought I loved that song. Turns out I kind of like but love parts of it. So I think uh, I'm really happy with where I put it on the honourable mentions. I don't think it deserves to be on my standout, especially with songs like Getting Older. Chandelier Change for me. I can't believe that because, like I said, I'm not really a big fan of that song. Holding Out for a Hero is definitely up there. I love both the original and Adam's version. So, yeah, um, let's keep going. The fifth song on the album is I Can't Stand the Rain. This happens to be another song I really like. Not love, it's not a go-to song, but I really like this song. So, yeah, let's get on with Adam's version of this song. I can't stand the rain against my window. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> we're not even far into the song right now. <laughs> like, literally just listen to the first line. But I really love his version of this song. Just that I... Did it, did it. Bringing back sweet memories. Oh, okay. Because he's not a he with me. Hey, window pain. When we were together. I think that's a bass, isn't it? That do do do. I think that's a bass. Tell me if I'm wrong. I'm not like a music expert, but I really love that. I think that's what really his vocals really good. But I think it's, that's what's really doing it for me is that bass sound. My window, Man, that song is a vibe all on its own. I, I'm pretty sure it's a bass in there that da 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 Oh, I love that. I uh, just the the vocals, like not super complex. There's some really great moments in the vocal, but I don't need anything big vocally from it. Because it's perfect, like perfect the way it is. I freaking love this song. It's definitely up there with getting older and uh, holding out for a hero. I, I don't know. I like this song a lot. Oh, well, I didn't like it. I loved this song from the first time I heard it. And, uh, yeah, it's definitely on my standout list for sure. So right now on the standout list, we have holding out for a hero, Chandelier, and I Can't Stand the Rain, we're getting to about halfway through the album now. Um, and then we got Ordinary World in Honourable Mentions. So the way things are progressing, it's probably going to be rated pretty high for me, obviously. <laughs> so yeah, let's keep going. The sixth track from the album is West Coast. Now, uh, from first reaction, this was another one I really, really liked. Um, but we're about to see what I think of it right now, and this is gonna like really choose where I are uh, actually rate it. So let's go ahead and get into it. Down on the west coast, they got a saying if you're not thinking, then you're not playing. But you got the music, you got the music in you. You're flying high, what's up? I'm feeling hot to the touch. You see, I'm listening, I see, I miss you so much, but something keeps me real quiet. Down on the west coast, 
the movies. They go from Gaza and rock and roll poopies. And you got the music, you got the music in you. Okay, so this is another one that's going to change for me now. Um, <clears throat> I didn't like it as much as I thought. I don't hate it. I wouldn't skip it. I actually think this would be a really good song played live. I just feel like after re-listening to it now, like the instrumental really drowns out his vocals in the song to me. And I don't know, it just doesn't give me the same feeling as kind of like getting older and I can't stand the rain and chandelier and holding out for a hero. And as I, I was honest with you guys before, like sh- chandelier, I didn't love it the first time I I heard it from um, Adam. I thought it was pretty close to see her. But I actually really, really like um, chandelier. But yeah, West Coast, the first time I heard it, I really, really liked it and like I didn't love it, but I I really liked it. And this time, I don't know. I just I don't think it's that great. But I think it would be a excellent song live. I don't know. We'll have to check check out a live version of him doing West Coast. But yeah, as of now, I would probably like say honorable mentions. I definitely wouldn't put it on my standout list. So anyway, let's keep going. The seventh song on the album is. Do You Really Want to Hurt Me? This is a song I also happen to really, really like. Um, both the original. I really liked it the first time I heard it. Things could change because things have changed so far, like re-listening the album um, this time around. So we'll see um, if I still feel the same, if I still really like it. Do I love it more than I thought? Um, is it kind of... This- Say me to the first time I listen to it. We'll, we'll find out right Better now. let you go. Oh. Do you really want to hurt me? Okay. So this is another one that I really thought I was going to have as a standout. And I need to put it in my honorable mentions. I don't think it's the weakest song, so it doesn't belong in that. Because there's parts of this I really like. Like I want to show you. You, there's like parts in the instrumental I really love the chorus I really love but I don't know it just kind of feels flat for me in places um but yeah let's see I really love parts of this song but I don't I I can't put it on my standout which I I really liked this song the first time so I don't understand why it's not like that same feeling right now but um yeah it's definitely gonna go in the honorable mentions. So far, he hasn't got any in Weakest Songs, whereas Shania Twain had a few that I kind of put in my Weakest Songs. So, so far, so good. It's still going to rate pretty high. So, we've still got more songs to go, and (laughs) pretty much all these songs I really liked. But what I'm finding interesting is I didn't... Like, I would have rated West Coast and Do You Really Want to Hurt Me in my standouts when I first heard it. But now hearing it for kind of the third time, I'm kind of like, uh, it's not as good as I remember. And, and I'm experiencing it differently through the headphones. So, But like I said, there's there's parts to um, do you really want to hurt me? I really love, but then there's other parts I'm a bit more eh. On, um, same with West Coast. I feel like he's really drowned out by the instrumental. But I feel like it'd be a banger song to play live. So... But yeah, anyway, let's keep going. The eighth song on the album, Sex on Fire. Now, I had a comment that said they were really excited for this song. Me, I wasn't as excited because, like, when Sex on Fire first came out, I actually did really love that song, but I got so overplayed, like, it kept playing it over and over. Then people just kept singing it on talent shows because I like to watch... Uh, Idol and X Factor and all that. I don't usually watch like the American one because 
Um, it's not usually on at a time of day that I can watch it. The one American Idol season I did watch is Adam's season, which uh, you, if you've watched my older videos, you would know because I, I told everyone. So I've been a fan of an Adam of Adam since then. And yeah, there's pretty much only one album I haven't heard from him, and that's Velvet, which from the comments you guys have told me is his best work. So I'm probably going to do some reactions to him in the future. And apparently there was another girl on uh, Idol I Loved, which I also mentioned, Alison Iroheta, and apparently she is a backup singer for him on the Velvet stuff. I know she toured with him on his first tour, but yeah, so I'll have to go watch some of the Velvet uh, performances because I actually haven't heard that album. Why, I don't know. Like, I, I haven't been trying to avoid it or anything. Um, yeah, I just don't know. I've never listened to it. So I knew it was out, but um, yeah, I never, uh, don't know, never got around to listening to it. But I love, my favourite album is from him, uh, For Your Entertainment, um, Trespassing. I really, that that's an uh, album that just keeps going and I like it more and more and more every time I listen to it. Um, I think the third one's the original High. I actually don't love that album, but there's a song on that album. There I Said It. There I, I think that's what the song's called. There I Said It. I absolutely love that song. It's like in my love, love, love album. It's a go-to song for me. So you know how we all have our go-to songs. Like um, there's, there's a song we will we'll be like, oh, I need to listen to that. I need to go listen to that. Um, that's that song for me among others um, from his earlier albums. So, but yeah, my the original High is not my favorite Adam album. Um, I don't know, it just wasn't for me. Um, but yeah, there is that song on there, and it happens to be one of my favorites. So yeah, I would I would definitely rate this album a lot higher than the original High. It's kind of more up there with Trespassing and um. For your entertainment, I actually think this is pretty solid so far. So probably going to be pretty damn high on my list. So let's keep going. I love this. So this is definitely going on my standout list. This was one of the songs I was worried about, like Chandelier, that um I didn't think I was going to like unless he really changed it because this was a song I was sick of, like sick of. Um, I won't even go listen to it on, on Spotify. But Adam managed to revitalize this song, change it, um, it gives me Prince vibes in the uh, verse. I don't know, just something in that verse. I mean, <laughs> gives me those Prince 
Prince vibes. I think is it um reminds me of Kiss in in the verse, like where he has that high. But yeah, I don't know. Something about that verse is very very Prince esque to me. But um, it freaking I I love Adam's version of this song. Like, like I said, it's a revitalized Sex on Fire for me. It has to go on the standout list. If I can rock out to the whole song, um, yeah, it's it's bloody solid. Um, it's definitely up there for sure. Um, all right, all I have to say, standout Sex on Fire. Okay, so what do we got? We got Sex on Fire and standout. I can't stand the rain. Getting older, chandelier still can't believe I put that on there. But there you go, and holding out for a hero. Uh, five standout songs. No weak ones yet. Um, the others in honourable mentions, so pretty pretty solid album so far, Adam. We've got about uh, one, two, three songs to go. And like I said earlier, there's a very good shot for these songs because I managed to like all these ones the first time I heard it. So I already knew he was going to have a pretty highly rated album from me. So um, Shan- Shania was more interesting because she, I didn't love it like I thought I was going to. Um, But yeah, but it was more of a grower on me, the Shania album. Like I said, I would probably actually move her album up higher now to when I first rated it. But um, yeah. Anyway, let's keep going. My Attic is the next song. One of my favourite vocals from the album. I felt that the first time I listened to this song, and I'm still feeling it now, I I think this is going to be a standout, guys. We're going to keep listening, but from what I've heard already, this is probably my favourite vocal from him on the entire album. And that's saying a lot because I really love getting old as vocal as well, but I think I like this one more. Tattooed skin, a paper thin, illusions that I'm tougher than I am. This is definitely on my standout list. This is my favorite vocal. I'm just like, is it? I don't know, getting older. No, I think My Attic is definitely my favorite vocal from this whole album. I don't know who originally sings it. Um, let me know in the comments below. I may Google it and I might do a reaction to it. We'll see. But this is by far my favorite vocal from this entire album so far. Um, we've got two more songs, so we'll see if that changes. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I really love this song. It's more slow. Um, there's not, like, super big moments in it, but... It's perfect the way it is. It doesn't need it. Like, he does have some, like, belty moments, but not to what we're used to from Adam. This is something I would love to see him sing live. So uh, if you find a good version, or he's already done a good version of this live, link it below, and I will uh, react to his live uh, version of this song. Because, like I said, it is by far my favorite vocal from him on this entire album. Um, and there's been bigger ones with more belty um, choruses and stuff, but I don't know. This is, like, uh, just, uh, oh, I want to say amazing, but it's better than that. This is, like, Adam, just, I don't know. This is where I really love him. And, yeah, like I said, I don't know. It's just something about this song. I'm not sure if it's uh, for you guys. Let me know in the comments below. Um, but yeah, this is by far my favorite vocal and probably actually one of my most favorite songs from from Adam ever. So that's saying a lot. Uh, let's go. We got number 10, I'm a Man. A gentleman. Go on the standout list too. This was actually um, from... One of the interviews I think I watched uh, might be on Instagram or something. This song actually meant a lot to Adam. I'm pretty sure it's this song, I'm a Man. Um, I can't remember the original artist, but um, I know he is a big icon for the LGBTQ, um, 
I know Adam absolutely idolizes him. I'm pretty sure it's this song. Uh, let me know if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's I'm a Man. Um, I don't know, really know the original song, only from the little clips, seven bits I seen from that interview. I'm pretty sure it's this one. But his vocal in this is great. Still my favorite um, vocal from him is My Attic. But yeah, he's, he's obviously got better vocals on the album for sure than My Attic. Like more belty stuff, as I say, like where he shows off his voice a lot more in other songs. But My Attic happens to be my favorite vocal from him. Um, but this is just another freaking banger song on the album. I can rock out from start to finish with this song. So yeah, uh, we got one more song to go, and then we reveal my rating for uh, High Drama, Adam Lambert. Um, sorry, it's a bit late. Um, since how it came out Friday, I just haven't felt like filming. Not not because of Adam or anything. I just. That's been me, and I wasn't going to force myself to go film something when I didn't want to because then you're not getting a genuine, um, you know, you're not getting a genuine review if I'm forcing myself to do it. Uh, I've actually had songs drop down from when I first um, heard them. I've had other songs that I had down low up, jump up. So, yeah, okay. It's been quite the experience this uh this review can very different from my uh, Shania, Shania review. If you want to go watch that, you can. Did it totally differently. I like wrote out notes and stuff. Um, I didn't really um, give great detail because I I'm not a very knowledgeable person when it comes to music. I'm kind of just going based on how I feel. Do I like this song? Do I do I love it? Do I would I skip it? Like, if I'd skip it, I'd obviously rate it in weakest songs. So, yeah. Anyway, we got one song to go, Mad About the Boy. And this was actually his first single. I um, I didn't hear it. I heard Ordinary World. I seen Ordinary World and kind of clicked on it, but I didn't react to it. Mad About the Boy was actually his first single off this album. So, let's go ahead and get into it. I'm mad about the boy. I know it's stupid to be mad about the boy Lord knows I'm not a fool boy I really shouldn't care again And only cause I'm mad about the boy It's dream of pain So, I'm going to kind of do something with this song. I probably shouldn't because for me, I don't actually really, it's not really a, a favourite song for me, but this happens to be probably his best vocal of the whole album. So, I'm going to chuck this in standout performances. Through the whole song, I'm like, this has to go in honourable mentions, but his vocal is so freaking good in the song. Like, it's not for me, but his vocal is so freaking good, it has to go into um, standout songs. Like, I, I can't I can't put it lower because the vocal is so freaking good. But, um, yeah, it's not a song for me at the same time. So, yeah, let's recap. I've got standout songs, Holding Out for a Hero, Chandelier, Getting Older, I Can't Stand the Rain, Sex on Fire, My Attic, I'm a Man, and Mad About the Boy. That's eight songs off this entire album of 11 tracks that are on my standout list. That is pretty damn hectic. So, um, and no, no weaker songs. I don't feel like, even though I didn't love the other songs as much, I don't feel like there's a weaker song on the album. I think I like them enough to where I wouldn't go skipping them. I'd probably just, like, you know, chill and, and listen to them, but I don't dislike them at the same time. So that's pretty damn solid. So we'll recap our honourable mentions in Ordinary World, West Coast, Do You Really Want to Hurt Me? 
Um, so pr- pretty damn solid, as I said. Um, yeah, what did did you guys think? So my my album rating for this is going to be fire. He's going into my fire category. That is really freaking high. Um, for my masterpiece, I think that's going to be a pretty unattainable like tier. It's going to be like I love the album top to bottom. Every song, it's all a standout. I can't fault it at all. That's kind of where I would rate it as a masterpiece. So I don't feel confident putting a high drama as a masterpiece, but it's still freaking fire. I would listen to this um, top to bottom. There's songs I love more than others, of course. And yeah, what is your favourite song from the album? I would say my favourite song from the album is Getting Older, even though My Attic is kind of my favourite vocal, but I like them for completely different reasons. Um, I Can't Stand the Rain is also kind of a vibe. I don't know. I'd have to really, like, listen to this again to really, like, go, like, tier list. This is my favourite song, this is blah, blah, blah. But oh, I love a lot of these songs for different reasons. Um, let me know your thoughts. Did I rate it too high? Did I rate it too low? Should it... Um, it's a blast for me. This should be a masterpiece. Every song is amazing. Did I get it right by putting it in fire? I th- I feel comfortable. I feel happy with where it's rated. It's a solid album. Um, there were songs on here I didn't think I was going to like, which I absolutely <laughs> love. Like, I still can't believe I've got Chandelier in my standouts. Sex on Fire, I knew from the first time I was going to be in my standouts because I really liked it the first time I um, listened to it and that didn't change with the headphones. Um, whereas Chandelier kind of did. I I kind of still didn't like it um, without the headphones, but the he- I don't know, the headphones just gave me a whole new vibe for Chandelier and it's on my standout list. So that's probably the biggest shock. To me, like to you guys, because you obviously don't know me super well, but I really don't like the original of that song. See, he's got a good voice and all. I don't know. It just doesn't hit for me, that song. But um, I can respect, like, it's a top vocal of a song and blah, blah, blah. So, but yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Let me know what you think. Um, It's very different from my Shania Twain reviews. If you want to go check that out, you can. Um, I'll be back with my Adam Lambert reactions. Like I said, uh, if there's a good My Attic live performance, I will react to that. I'm definitely considering doing his Velvet stuff because apparently it's, like, really good. So I'll have to get on to that. Um, I don't want to go listen to the album because I want to save that for genuine reactions. So anyway, let me know what you think. This album was fire. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Until then, (laughs) bye-bye.